a little impromptu video in the dining room here because I got this box from Apple Boom today. I wasn't going to make a video. I never make opening videos. But when I started to open it, I realized, no, I should. This one, I should. So this came from Apple Boom. Um, as you can probably tell, I mean, hand for size, it's an enormous box. He got the Stroopwafel, always important when getting a package from the Netherlands. Uh, an Apple Boom microfiber cloth, I will definitely use that. A Pen of the Year 2022 catalog, which excites me greatly um, because, no, that's not the pen that's in here. But apparently I may need a knife to open this. Uh, let's see what I can do. Yeah, I'm gonna get a knife to open this neatly. Oh, there's something in here. Oh, at the same time I got a bottle of the new Golden Lapis. If my camera will focus, it will. There we go. Uh, but I will be right back with a knife to open that. Through movie magic, this is now out of the bigger box. And I'm seeing it is part of the official packaging of the product. Also, I found a second Stroopwafel. Um, I feel a little bad to open this knowing that, but maybe I don't have to. It looks like it was cut on... No, I just think that broken handling. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to cut it. I feel bad to... Um, I'm not seeing a way around that. So that's what we'll do. I wonder if I can just pull it up. No, I can't. Uh, breaking the seal feels so bad. I really should keep this shut, shouldn't I? You're thinking like, what did he get? Like a scale model of a car from Apple Boom? Which but anyway, okay, I'm just going to inside that, hmm, there's more packaging. And inside the more packaging, those of you who have seen the pen of the years before will know that they come in their own little box, separate from the box box. So, this massive packaging out of the way here. And what do you guys want to see first? I think we'll see the, the box first. Save the pen till the end. You don't see these pens on YouTube a lot, these pens of the year. Gonna, am I on camera? Sort of. size of this thing. Hopefully it's focusing, but I don't really know. Look at that beautiful lacquer. There's a sticker on there. It's not damaged. I mean, I'm not going to take that sticker out. I mean, I mean, it's probably not a sticker. It's probably static cling. But anyway, also even the outer packaging is felt lined or some kind of padded cloth lined. And can we see that? We can. Move that a little bit there. It's empty. Someone stole my pen. No. Nobody stole the pen. Pen's in here. They really don't want these pens of the years. To get damaged in shipping, huh? Oh, has a little sleeve. By the way, you know, Mont Blanc could really learn a lesson. They moved to cardboard packaging while increasing prices. And uh, here's Graf von Faber Castell with my small city of packaging and it is a Schoenbrunn. I believe it was the last one that any distributor has. Man, it is just beautiful. I don't know if Focus is picking that up. I'll 
stop the lens down a little bit to help with that. But it is just beautiful. I'm gonna do this. Maybe that'll help with the focus here. Sorry. Guys, this is a very professional video as you can tell. That should be on. Oh, it's so smooth with the uncapping. Beautiful two-tone nib. Beautiful wood inlay, beautiful lacquer work. Hidden piston. I'll have to do a better video at some point, but there's really nice engraving work. I mean, everything. A little, I think synthetic onyx in the top. I don't know what it is. I'll have to look into that later. But that is how you package a special edition pen. Someone should talk to Mont Blanc and their new cardboard boxes for the Origin collection. Even better than I thought. Once I took this, was just felt for shipping. I took it out. Look at that. Looks like there's an Easter egg in here. Beautiful work. Beautiful wood box. Beautiful lacquering on it. No imperfections. I mean, really nicely done. Graf von Faber Castell.